What's going on, Perform24 family? Levi Jekyll back in the garage, back with another video. Um, it has been a couple weeks uh, since I filmed a video. Um, this is the first time in 2021 uh, that I've gone more than a week without an upload. Uh, but month of July, summertime, spending time with the family, um, you know, gotta, gotta live life a little bit as well. So anyways, haven't done a video, uh, but I'm looking forward to making this one for you guys today. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the TRX suspension trainer um, and wooden gymnastics rings. We're going to be talking about which one of these products is better, um, which one of these products is more difficult, uh, which one of these products is more versatile, um, and which one of these products might be good for you. All right, so right out of the gate, let's talk about cost. Uh, both the TRX and the gymnastics rings are very cost effective. That's one of the biggest reasons why I think that if you have some type of home gym, um, or some type of small garage gym, you need to have one of these two products because the cost is not a huge barrier. Um, the TRX is a little bit more expensive. I think it's like 130 bucks. Um, the rings are, I think, 50 or maybe 60 bucks. Uh, but if you look on Facebook Marketplace, you can get both of these for very, very cheap. Um, so if you want either one of these, you can get them pretty easily. Personally, I think that the cost between the two is a wash um, just because neither one of them are that expensive. Uh, and they are both extremely versatile. We're gonna talk about the versatility a little bit more here in a second, but the cost per variance of exercise is ridiculous on both of these. So A plus for both of them. All right, next we're gonna talk about longevity and durability. Um, this TRX strap that we currently have, I have had it for 10 years. Now granted, the only two people that use this strap are me and my wife. Um, and so it's not like it's at the gym where it's getting used all day long by different kinds of people. Um, and even with that being said, I've never had a TRX strap break on me. Um, so the longevity and the durability for a TRX strap is A+. The durability and the longevity on rings might even be better. Um, and the reason is that there's no friction um, on that connection point. So the TRX is a single strap mount uh, with like a little U shape system situation uh, where there is a little rub and friction created on the TRX straps. The rings are each wrapped individually and there's none of that. So um, as good as the durability and the longevity on the TRX strap is, uh, the rings are even better. So I guess if we're keeping score here, you can give the rings maybe a slight edge on the price and a slight edge on the longevity and durability as well but they're both great. Okay, so next we're gonna talk about installation, mounting, um, and then adjustability. The TRX strap, like I mentioned a second ago, is a single mounted strap. We have this currently mounted to our rack, but before we had this rack, uh, my wife and I used this TRX in a door jam. I think most TRX versions come with that little door mount um, mounting piece uh, where you can just mount it inside any door frame. You close the door on the TRX strap and it's very secure. So I would even use the TRX strap for inverted rows while it was mounted in the door frame and didn't have any problems. Um, I might even have some old footage, which if I can find it, I'll throw it up there, um, of me doing inverted rows into the old garage and it held up totally fine. So the TRX just has a single mount um, and you can add it into the door frame. The rings, obviously each ring has its own individual mount, so you need two mounting places. Um, again, we've got these ones mounted to the rack, but you could mount them to the ceiling. Um, if these were mounted to the ceiling, I'd be able to do some of those overhead movements like pull-ups um, or maybe even muscle-ups if I got real aggressive with it. Uh, but here in the rack, I'm not able to do any of those full extension movements. So because the rings require two mounting spaces, and if you're mounting to the ceiling, you're worried about them being secure and strong, um, and you gotta make sure that you hit studs and maybe even reinforce the ceiling a little bit, um, I'm gonna give the edge, the mounting edge to the TRX for this one. Um, it's very, very easy to either throw it around a single stable surface um, or object or mounting point, um, or even easier, just wedge it into a door frame. You gotta be a little bit more careful where you're putting your rings. Those same factors are gonna play into the adjustability. Um, the TRX has these little clips that you can push and just immediately adjust these straps to make them shorter or longer. You don't even really need to get them exactly the same length just by the nature of the design of the TRX. Um, as you're using it, it's just gonna kind of even out. So you've gotta put equal tension into those handles. Um, and so that TRX is just gonna balance itself out. Um, and you don't have to get them each equally 
perfect length. The button system that's on the TRX strap and then this, the system that they've got to contain the slack of the strap um, is just been worked out over the years and they've got it nailed. The rings on the other hand are a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Um, you've got to make sure that each side is perfectly the same length. Um, so you don't want to be doing dips with like an offset um, handle or something like that. Um, you're going to create an imbalance in your movement. So I'm going to give the TRX a little bit of an edge on the adjustability as well, uh, just because it's a little quicker, it's a little bit more user friendly and the margin of error is greater. All right, so now let's talk about the versatility of these two products. Um, and this is where both the TRX and the gymnastics rings really shine. Uh, personally, my coaching experience and my, um, I guess my own training experience, I have more experience using the TRX. Um, I use the TRX all the time in my programming for myself, for my wife, and for my clients and athletes, um, where I don't use the rings quite as frequently. So I will admit that I might be a little bit personally biased towards the TRX. Um, I think that the TRX is one of the most versatile pieces of equipment that you can get. Um, the regressions and the progressions uh, that you can use on the TRX are almost endless. Um, and I'm not even an expert. I know that there are like super TRX specialists all over you know, Instagram and YouTube uh, that have way more variations than I do. But I also know that that can be said for the ring. So just because I don't use um, all the variations and the progressions and the regressions on the rings, um, that I could. I know that there are people out there that are just absolute masters um, at regressing the rings uh, to make them more approachable and usable for almost anyone. One thing that I think is important to talk about on the TRX is that you can target muscle groups very effectively. Um, so I use TRX rows all the time. I use glute bridges all the time. Um, I use core exercises like knee tucks and body saws all the time. So I can kind of pick and choose the muscle groups that I need to work, um, and there's gonna be a TRX exercise for that. Now, again, I'm sure that there are similar exercises or maybe even more creative exercises to hit those muscle groups on the rings. I just don't know about them, and I don't use them. Not to say that they aren't out there, um, that's just not really where my experience has taken me so far in my career. Just to wrap up the versatility section, um, I think in general, the TRX is a little bit more versatile just because you can isolate lower body core and upper body movements very, very easily. But the rings are still ridiculously versatile in their own right. Finally, we're going to be talking about level of difficulty. Um, again, in general, I'm going to give the level of difficulty edge to the gymnastics rings. Um, I think that the TRX straps are a little bit more versatile and I think the gymnastics rings are a little bit more difficult. Usually TRX movements are done in a suspension, right? So your feet are anchored or your hands are anchored um, and you're doing some type of movement. On the gymnastics rings, you can get all the way up on top of them. This requires a very high strength to body weight ratio. Um, not everybody has the ability to get up on top of the rings and go through a couple different movements. Okay, so because the rings are designed to handle exercises that can be done completely on top of them um, or completely underneath them, you know, if you're doing complete pull-ups um, or even muscle-ups or something like that, uh, the rings are going to have a little bit more scale and they're gonna be able to handle uh, more difficult and more challenging um, and more strength-based movements. But here is one caveat uh, that the TRX can do that the rings, well, actually maybe the rings can do this, uh, but the TRX can go into a single limb mode. Um, so you can kind of weave those TRX handles, uh, like figure eight them through one another uh, to get like a single arm or a single handle. Um, and that single handle will allow you to do either single arm movements, um, like a single arm row, um, or you could do like a single leg glute bridge from the floor. Um, because those handles can weave together into, into form one handle, most exercises that you can do on the TRX, um, you could weave those handles together and do them with a single limb, uh, which that's gonna add a level of difficulty uh, to any movement that you're doing on TRX. So, you know, just because the rings, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the rings the edge on the difficulty scale, uh, the TRX movements can get very hard as well. I um, mean, again, I mean, there's people on Instagram and YouTube all the time that are doing just like ridiculous movements on the TRX straps. So um, you can get difficult movements on both of these, but um, 
because you can get all the way up on top of the tier or up on top of the rings, um, I think that they're a little bit more difficult. Bonus round. Um, I did not think of this uh, before I made this video, but as I'm sitting here talking, uh, this kind of came to me organically. So this is bonus content. Final category is portability. Um, I have corporate clients uh, that I guess they're starting to travel now. They didn't travel for a while uh, over the last year and a half, but they're starting to travel again now. Uh, but before the pandemic and they were traveling in like a normal cadence, uh, they packed a TRX strap with them. A TRX strap doesn't take up a lot of room in a suitcase. Um, and again, you can mount that to the inside of a door. So if you spend a lot of time in a hotel, maybe a TRX strap is good for you. Um, I don't know if hotels will allow you to mount rings to the ceiling, uh, but I haven't personally tried that, so uh, maybe you can get away with it. Both the TRX straps and the gymnastics rings are awesome products. Neither one of them cost a lot. Uh, they're both gonna last forever. Um, neither one is really hard to mount. Uh, you might have a little difficulty if you're gonna mount the rings to the ceiling, uh, but if you're just mounting to a rack, it's no big deal. For the most part, they're both easy to adjust as well. Um, both of them are ridiculously versatile. Um, and then both of them offer a massive range of difficulty levels. So again, if you have a home gym, if you have a garage gym, if you have a small private training space um, or a commercial space, you need to have either rings or TRX or possibly both uh, for all your exercise needs and wants. If you guys have any preferences or personal experience with either one of these two products, please let me know down in the comments. Um, I always appreciate when you guys chime in. If you haven't used the TRX strap or the gymnastics rings in your program, um, I would highly encourage you to try it and to add it in. I think that there's a lot of benefit to be gained from both of these. Get you some, get on some of that body weight training. It'll tear you up in a completely new way. That's gonna wrap up today's video. As always, train hard, live full, and I will see you in the next one.